Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kanisa. Jumapili ya umoja tarehe saba mwezi wa nane mwaka 2022 tunalo tangazo moja la ndoa nalo linasomeka kama ifuatavyo. Leo tarehe saba mwezi wa nane mwaka 2022 hii ni mara ya kwanza tunaitangaza ndoa baina ya ndugu Jerome Michael Kundi na dada Margaret Wanjeru Ngoi. Ndugu anaishi kata Rongai wilaya Rombo katika mkoa Kilimanjaro. Alizaliwa katika kata ya Kitendeni wilaya Rombo katika mkoa wa Kilimanjaro. Baba yake ni marehemu Michael Gabriel Kundi na mama yake ni Margaret Jero Malimo wa kata ya Iwa wilaya Moshi katika mkoa wa Kilimanjaro. Dada anaishi kata ya Longuo wilaya Moshi katika mkoa wa Kilimanjaro. Alizaliwa huko kata ya Makidi wilaya Rombo katika mkoa wa Kilimanjaro. Baba yake ni James Malas Ngowi na mama yake ni Natalia Bernard Masawe wakata ya Njukini wilaya Taveta mkoa wa Pwani. Ndoa hii inatarajiwa kuunganishwa siku ya Jumamosi tarehe 27 mwezi wa nane mwaka 2022 katika kanisa la Miracle Revival Fellowship Pentecostal Tawi la Moshi Tanzania. Ikiwa lipo jambo ama neno lolote linaloweza kusababisha Kuzoya kuunganishwa kondoa hii ambayo tumeitangaza hivi leo tunaomba kwamba neno ama jambo hilo liletwe mapema kwa wazee wa kanisa walioko makao makuu hapa Mariakani ili maharusi hawa wakapate kusaidiwa wakaweze kuyaanza na kuendeleza vyema maisha yao haya mapya wanayo yaendea amen lakini mwingine akisikia Mwenzake amepata mema well, some he has his colleagues got good thing. Anahuzunika kule moyo. He sorrowful in his heart. Pepe anamwambia wewe. The devil tells him you utaku, utakufa bila kuyaona hayo. You will die without seeing all these good things. Wewe una lana kubwa. A very great cast with you. Ata. No. Kuolewa ni agano la Mungu. Being married is a covenant of God. Hao mataifa wanaolewa kwani wana lana gani? Gentiles marry each other. Which card do they have? Hawa kwani hawana dhambi. Don't they have sin with them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni wewe ufurahi. It's you to rejoice. Waamini hilo ni agano la Mungu. And believe that's a covenant of God. Na aliyewatimizia hao. And whoever fulfill to them. Mimi nami atanitimizia. He also fulfill to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio mimi nikafurahi. That's why I rejoice. Nikafurahi. And rejoice. Nikafurahi. And rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mwaka juzi the other year 2020 wakati wa corona at a time of the pandemic Mungu akajua huyu rimba huyu nguvu nyingi hana new rimba has no strength na wanangu ni vijana watupu wa hivi and my boys are still young only four of them haya okay nini tafute mahunda ya kuoza i need to look for the money to solemnize them hallelujah hallelujah miracle Miracle ai lazimishi mtu uwe na sherehe kubwa. Then force one to have a very Hata ukasema mimi nifungeni ndoa humu. Even if you say we matrimonize you here. Pale, inje pale, when you go say there. Haya nitoe vazi langu na okay. mchana wangu. I change the clothes. Munitie kwa matatu mimi niende kwetu. I put me na PS vyako I go to a place. Uko mama wangu ameweka kuku moja. My mother has brought one chicken from there. Na kilo moja ya mchele. And one cage of rice. Ya mgeni mmoja for one guest. Tutakufunga ndoa hivyo hivyo. We'll solemnize you the same way. Maana kitu muhimu ni ndoa iheshimiwe. The most important thing is the wedding Kule to be ni kwetu sisi maana nguvu iko. It's for us because the capacity is there. Lakini vijana msiogope kuoa. But you don't fear to marry. Amen. Amen. Ile sherehe utaruka na ndege. The party and flying Uende over. na magari mangapi si sheria. That's not the law of the church. Si sheria. That's not the law. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heshima ni ile kuozwa kwa mchana. Honor is being solemn like during daytime. Lakini mkapata na msichana wako. But should you agree with your girl? Yeye naye asemi na misina makubwa. And concur with you. Haja yangu mimi ni niolewe. My desire is for me to be married. Wasichana ndio wanasema mimi nataka iwe kama ya fulani. No, the girl say want me to be like. Mimi kwa sababu za langu sasa la kukodisha. I want to buy my own gown. Kitu cha siku moja. Something you wear for only one day. Sitaki la kukodisha. I don't want to hire from anyone. I want my own. Lakini ukipata yule ana 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 matradio hayo. Should you find one with less thoughts na una kuku moja? 
and you have one head Iko moja ilifungwa ya ndugu moja hapa VOK. One was solemn as in VOK. Ndugu moja anaitwa Kialo. One brother called Kialo. Sherehe ya kilo tatu za mchele. Only 3 kg of rice. Aya kama huo mchele wenyewe ni kilo tatu. If the rice is 3 kg. Si basi hiyo mboga pengine ni kilo mbili za za nyama au hata moja. The meat may be 1 kg or 2 kg. Na harusi kapita and it was solemn very well. Sana naye hakuwa na makubwa. The girl never had great things. Wazazi nao hawakuwa na makubwa. The parents never expected this. Harusi ya kilo tatu za mchele. The wedding for only 3 kg. Na kwa mipatana wakawa na amani. They were greeted and had peace. Leo wafuata hayo maendeleo waliona. They follow them the progress they have. Wale wanao wafahamu hao. Those who know them. Amen. Amen. Walipatana kilo tatu za mchele. They agree 3 kg of rice. Yuko hapa VOK hapa. He's just in VOK. Aya wafuateni. Now follow them. Wana maendeleo makubwa. They are so much prosperous. Watu wafupi wawili wako hapa. Very short of two of them. Kilo tatu za mchele. 3 kg of rice. Na pengine mboga ilikuwa njogo moja. Maybe the radish was only one cup. Wakaamini Mungu. They believed in God. Wana familia kubwa leo. They have a very great family today. Na maendeleo makubwa. And a lot of progress with them. Wanapenda Mungu wao mwanzilishi. They love God of the founder. Na kumtumikia. And serving him. Mungu amewainua vikubwa. God has exalted them highly. Wana mafanikio na baraka nyingi. They have all kind of blessings and success. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana walijishusha. God they brought themselves down. Mungu yeye akawainua. God exalted them. Lakini wewe wajipandisha tayari wewe mwenyewe. But you're exalting yourself. Mimi sitaki viatu hivi. I don't want this type of shoes. Na mimi sitaki hivi. I don't want this way and this way. Apingine huyo mchumba hata uwezo wao hana. Maybe the fiance doesn't have the capacity. Unamtia kwa madeni. You are forcing him to date. Hayo mkianza maisha. Now, once you start the life. Hata kile kidogo mmepewa. They literally been gifted with. Angaa mkaanze maisha kinaisha kulipa madeni. At least to start with the life with you pay the debt. Mwache Mungu give space to God akupandishe yeye mwenyewe to exalt you Muwe watu wa kukubali manyonge should be people who humble themselves Maana mwanzilishi baba yetu wa imani alikubali manyonge found our father of faith accept in the conquering Hallelujah Hallelujah Mimi nikaamini hivyo I believe that way Hallelujah Hallelujah Corona ikanifunika the pandemic covered kwamba tunafurahi na corona iendelee Know that we are pleased with the pandemic Kwa na harusi za za muujiza we had very wonderful and miraculous weddings hallelujah hallelujah amen amen za watu wachache wachache very few gathering vijana nao hawakuwa hawako na makubwa the boys never had great things in their mind hawakusema paka corona ifunguke they never said it's until the pandemic is set free kila mmoja alitamana afunge harusi ndani ya corona hii everyone decided to be solemn during the pandemic wakati hakutaikani watu wengi kusanyika at a time not many are supposed to gather together watatu wakafunga harusi three of them were solemnized hallelujah hallelujah amen amen nashukuru mungu wa mwanzilishi i thank god of the founder amenitimizia imani niliyokuwa nayo yes will feel the faith i had kuona wazukulu seeing my grandchildren hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Amen. Ana mmoja alizaliwa jana. Because wa, in fact one was born yesterday. <laughs> Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi ni Mungu mkuu kabisa. God of the founder of mother. Mashaka wananiambia wewe. The devils are telling me you utakufa 2022. You will die 2002. Lakini Mungu wa mwanzilishi. But God of the founder akanijalia imani. Enable me to have faith. Amani kwamba Mungu hakuniita nife na magonjwa. Please that God never call me to die from disease of a curse. Ataniponya. He'll heal me. Ataniokoa. He will save me. Ataniivusha. He will make me go Ita through. Atakuwa na nyumba. I'll have a house. Yeye vyumba. With rooms. Anasema mke wangu. He says my wife. Atakuwa kama mzabibu. Will be like a vine. Zao vyumbani mwa nyumba yako. That's fruitful in your house. Haya tukaanza kuzaa vijana watu. Back to boys. Paka sita. Till six of them. Na katika kuzaa vijana wao sita. And in that process, mimi kila mwana aliyezaliwa nilikuwa sina sishtuki. Every child born I never got shocked. Hata yuko amebebwa mimba. But maybe she's conceiving. Sasa nitamani yule atamani awe mchana huyu. I decided this ah. one to be a girl. No. Mimi nasema mwana ni mwana. I say a child is just a child. Mwana ni mwana. A child is a child. Wawili wakapita Two pastors. Aya baada ya mimba sita hizo vijana watupu. After all these six pregnancies only boys. Wale wakapita wakabaki wainne. Two pastors only four remain. Tena mwisho tena huko mbele baada ya sita. Later on tukapata wasichana wawili. We got two girls. Na wakapita hivyo hivyo. They also passed on the same way. Leo wote waliozaliwa. Maana vijana wote watatu wamepata 
Wadzukulu wa bini. Three boys have got their home. Na wote ni wasichana. A lot of them have girls. Haleluya. Haleluya. Wote ni wasichana watatu. All of them born a girl. Haya. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mungu anajua kufariji jamaa. God knows how to comfort you dear. Nimepata vijana. I've got boys. Sita. Six boys. Lakini wote na furahi ni wana mwana ni mwana. I rejoice a child is a child. Hakuna hata mmoja alizaliwa basi nikashituka. There's no day one was born there got shocked. Mwana ni mwana. A child is a child. Kumwangalia mama naye hashituki. When I will the mother too she knows shocked too. Haya wale wa mwisho wa kike. Now the last two girls. Akapita. The pastor. Tena aliyefuata wa kike. And then the one who came later the guy. The pastor. Hadi ndio tunyauke kwa Mungu wa mwanzo. So we with that God of the Father. Ndio tunaimba himongogo. Ndio tuka fry zaidi basi. Himongogo. This power this power this power. Tukajifurahisha kwa Bwana. We deleted ourselves in the Lord. Tukajifurahisha kwa Bwana. And deleted ourselves in the Lord. Mungu alitupa. God gave us. Amechukua. He has taken. Leo wasichana wameregesha. The boy, the girls are born in the home. Hallelujah!